Welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do my Eurasana, which is the peacock pose. I really love this pose and I did a video about it before, but I want to make a slight tweak to it because actually the way I demonstrated it before, there was some good stuff in that video, but my legs were higher than my head, which is actually ostrich pose I have now come to discover. So I'm going to teach you the new and improved version of my Eurasana. It's a really, really great tutorial, which is going to get you into this very tricky pose a lot easier. So can't wait to share all the tips with you. Okay guys, so with my Arasana, a lot of people, there's obviously a classic old school way of doing this. I have tweaked it just because in my body, the way that most teachers were teaching my Arasana wasn't working for me and I knew I had the strength, but for some reason something wasn't clicking and I wasn't able to hold the pose. So forgive me if you think that these little tweaks are kind of selling out the true yoga way, but if they work for you, I'll be so happy because it is actually a really amazing pose that can be very, very healthy for your biomechanics. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is that my hands are not together in the classic yoga way. My hands are out like a butterfly and they have a little gap between them, but not super close um, like you'll see most people do this. And that little gap enables me to do a very important thing with my elbows. Because if my elbows are either too wide, I won't have a balance point, but if they're too close, I also won't be able to feel like I have enough um, leverage to keep me left and right stable. So I have like a little gap between my elbows, but really importantly, my elbows are somewhere just where, kind of in the squidgy part of my tummy. And once I've got my abs really, really strong, and my elbows are in the squidgy part of my tummy, I then lift my heels close to my butt. Now, a lot of teachers say, oh, you know, you've got to stretch the legs out and then use your back muscles to lift the legs up. But again, I was not strong enough. So I was finding that although I had the legs extended, sort of this kind of kicky thing was happening, but that hover, that balance point, it wasn't really sticking. So this is what I want you to realize. It's kind of like physics. If you have a lever that's very long, lifting something up is a lot harder than if the lever is short. So I do this with bent legs to start off with. Once I find my balance point with my elbows, I actually lift my heels very close to my bum because can you see? Now the muscles in my butt and my back can start to lift my legs up because it's lighter. And eventually you'll find that you have the strength to maintain a straight line from your chest to your knees. Now this is where I kind of cheated in the beginning and when I did my last video, I started extending the legs and dropping my chest, which I now know is ostrich pose. So apologies for that mistake before, but I actually realized that in my own body, you can make some amazing things happen, which is a little bit more challenging, but definitely worth um, working towards by just lifting the chest and keeping that up as much as you can. Now, once you've got your chest up and you feel that your legs come up, then week by week, you can start extending the legs out until you're holding the pose. One more little tip, and I feel like this tip is possibly the most important one. A lot of people attempt going into this pose without really feeling where the center of gravity is. And so they'll, for example, they'll set up just like I teach them, they get their hands out, their elbows in the right place, they bend their legs, but they pull backwards. And then there's literally no leverage to get their knees up. You can be super strong in your butt muscles and your back muscles, but if you haven't got that sweet spot with balance, there's just no way it's gonna work. So this is one of the most important things that I wanna share with you. You've got all the setup. Then you've got to find that sweet spot and the place where it usually is is chest reaching forward a lot. The more you look forward and the more you reach your chest forward, the easier it's going to be to find that position. And it's very exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> 
thank you so much for watching and remember if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments and to all of you out there that have left me comments and thumbs up and have subscribed thank you so much for helping me you have no idea how much it means to me that you guys have supported this channel can't wait to see you on the next video remember if you have any requests or suggestions hit me up in the comments box and i'll make sure to make anything you ask <laughs> well almost anything you ask take care guys lots of love bye I'm gonna put that in there.